Welcome everybody to this new video of the Taxpress. Today I'm going to show you how to get started with this great section application of Canva and how we can actually use it to create elements with the help of ChatGPT. So to get started, first of all, what I need to do is to have a Canva account. You have the link down below in the description if you want to try it out. Canva totally for free for the next 14 days. So Canva is a powerful graphic design platform that makes it easy to create beautiful designs. Now, ChatGPT, on the other hand, is a powerful tool that can assist you with generating images and content. You must have ChatGPT Plus in order to generate images, but in this case, you want to focus only into ideas and into content. Now, combining these two tools can significantly enhance your design process. So, to get started, first of all, I'm going to focus into Canva. You don't need to have a Canva account, but first focus into Canva account to get started. Though. You can choose between a free or a pro account. The pro account, once again, offers additional features, but the free version is sufficient for the most basic designs. So, now that you're started into Canva, let's open any tab and go for chatdbd.com. So to use chatdbd, you want to of course log in or sign up for an account and you can use the free version or opt for the paid subscription for more advanced features and faster response time. Now we can start by asking chatdbd for days on ideas. For example, give me ideas for a social media post about the, I don't know, summer sale. So chatdbd will generate a list of creative ideas that you can use as a starting point for your days on. So let's say I'm generating a TikTok post of a Harry Potter quiz. So this is what I'm actually going to be creating. So if I go back into the very first section, I go for give me ideas. Here's my question. Here's the answer. For example, quick fire quiz. Rapid quick fire quiz with a time. I have caption. Here's my questions. These or that. Guess the spell. So I'm going to use one of these ideas so then later I can implement this into Canva. So with this idea, now let's just go head over to the Canva and create our new design. So in here, I'm gonna go for search content TikTok. I'm gonna go and try it out for TikTok. So as you can see, we have TikTok quiz. So I choose the TikTok quiz template and choose which one is, let's say, most accurate for me. So in this case, if we wanted to focus into some magic stuff and whatever, try to aim for something that is going to be really accurate for what you're looking for. Inside the customization of the template, what I can do now is to implement the element that we have just generated and created with Chat DVD. For example, let's start with the very first one, which is guess the spell. So when it says quest time, let's say guess the spell. There we go. Now here into guess the spell, what I'm going to do is to customize my actual element. I'm going to try to make this a little bit much more smaller. Now that I have added all the information into my story, into my post of TikTok, I'm going to start designing this element. So as you can see, we do have this title, we have this description, and we have this design. So what I'm going to be doing here is to delete the elements that I do or do not want to see. And then later on, try to change them for something that is going to be something more accurate here. So, for example, here it says guess the spells. So I'm going to try to change the title. And I'm going to give them now some style. For example, here, let's go and try it out to so something black. And here, the colors, I'm going to try to change the font. And if you want to do, you can go here into Elements and look out for Harry Potter. Usually, of course, it's not appearing so much elements. But if you wanted to go for sale all, I use this image. And I'm going to try to center it. Now that I have sent it to this section, I'm going to try to make this much more big enough. There we go. I'm going to send this into the back. If I click into positions, I'm going to choose my image and go in all the way back. This is now the actual image here. Now, now that I have this colors, I'm going to try to change this color for something more related into Harry Potter. For example, redder. If I select this element in the upper side, it says animate. I can, of course, choose magic animation to do this element, let's say, automatically. I don't have to do like a lot. For example, I can go for playful. I can choose bold. I can choose elegant, energetic, or whatever. Now, I make sure that here into my design, we have just generated that. I'm going to go into show, download, and download the very first page as an actual video. I download it. And as you can see, we have now created an actual TikTok post with Canva. But now I actually use the ChatGPT information. You can, of course, do so much more elements using ChatGPT. For example, help you to generate more ideas, 
to adding more icons, illustrations, and all of those. So those are a few tips of how you can effectively design make it simple use high quality images maintained consistent with fonts and colors and of course the chat gpt can be helping you to check out more ideas that we can of course to use to implement this here into canva that is how we can actually do this process in a very easy way guys so that is how a complete guide of how you can design in canva using the chat gpt so we hope you find this very helpful guys for more practical tips and tutorials don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel Thank you so much for watching the video, guys, and hopefully you can also see you to a brand new section of text first. Hopefully, we can see you next time. See you soon.